a warm greeting to everyone and welcome to alcohol it's an absolute pleasure to kick start this exciting new chapter with all of you but you stumbled upon this channel by chance or unintentionally shout it out because i'm genuinely glad you are here on alcohol you will be exploring the world of technology and algorithms I am not just the creator of this channel I am also a fellow tech enthusiast just like you and that's what makes this journey so special your support means the world to me and I can't wait to see where this adventure will take us for the beginning we have chosen python laboratory program prescribed in btu syllabus so without wasting time Let's move ahead to program number one. The question says that to write a Python program to find the best of two test average marks out of three test marks accepted from the user. So basically, you have to do here is that you have to find the sum of total marks, and then you have to subtract the minimal among them, so that you will get the best out of three. Best two out of three, and after finding the best two out of three, you have to find the average marks of that those two subset. So, what you have to do in this question is that step number one: ask the user to give three marks as input. That is marks one, marks two, and marks three. Guys, you can keep the name of the variable as per your choice. Now, step two. is to find the minimum marks among 3 then comes step 3 which is that you have to subtract the minimum marks from the sum of total 3 marks now step 4 find the average among the two of 2 then you have to print the result so before going ahead we will be learning that how to take the input in python program and How to print the result? As you guys know, that Python is completely different from C and C plus plus. It's quite easy and it's quite tricky also. That okay. Before moving ahead, who is the father of Python? It's Guido Juan Rocha. Okay, so like, let's see how to take input from the user in Python. So for taking the input. first thing you have to do is that you have to give one variable name you can put anything as per your choice like here max when a subject one whatever you want then you have one int this is the data type is this file whether you want int whether you want double whether you want a string you can specify it here then you have one input This keyword is used to create the input from the user. Then inside the parentheses, you can put one statement, which will be interacting with the person who is going to run the program and give the input. So that if the statement is given here, you can give the input as per the requirement of the program. Guys, make sure you are not putting any semicolon at the end because this is not C or C plus plus. Python don't need any semicolon. Similarly, you have to uh, take read the second marks, then the third marks. Guys, remember the syntax. Its variable name is equals to data type, then the input variable to read the input from the user, and then the statement. Okay, so moving ahead. As per I told you, we we have to first find the total. And in the at totals, you have to remove one minimum marks so that you will get the best two out of three. Okay, so our next step is to find the minimum. To find the minimum, we will be using min keyword of Python. This min keyword helps uh, give the minimum the minimum value among the three. as the output c here it's mean you have given 1 2 3 then 
until it will return 1. Why? Because it's the minimum value. It's a Python keyword. You can't and yes. Since it is a keyword, you can't change its name. You have to write mean the way it is. Okay. So, now we are over with finding the minimum among the three. Now let's go up. Let's go forward. Now we have to find the best of two. For that, what we will do? We will find total sum. Total sum. How you get total? But but uh, by adding all three max together, that is max one plus max two plus max three. Done. Now, among total, you have to subtract the minimum. Done. When you're doing this thing, among three marks, the minimum marks will be get excluded. Because of that, only two best marks will be zero. Now, since the question tell, told you, tell, tells you to find the best sum of best two and then find the average of it. So, we are done with finding the sum. Now, we will go with average of best two. So, as per you know, in mathematics, average is equals to sum of all possible outcomes divided by total number of outcomes. So, here it's sum of best 2 divided by 2. Since, why it's 2? Because we are taking only 2 marks. Third, we are excluding. Okay. Now, the next thing is to print the best average of best 2. For that, we will be giving the statement average of best 2. See guys, the thing inside the semicolon, sorry, the thing inside the double quotation is a printable character. Whatever you are writing here, it's going to print an output as it is. And this, this comma, which is separating this column from this column. Now, here you are giving the name of the variable, which is here. Which is here. So now, now, whatever the output value which is stored in average of base 2 that could be created stored in here and print a statement will display that value. See, the desired output will look like this. Come on. At first, it will print enter the marks 1. That time, you have to enter one value. Again, it will ask enter the marks 2. Again, you have to put enter which value. Then again, you have to put Marks 3. Give an integer value. Why it's integer? Because while reading the value from the user, you have given the detail type as int. Please mind this thing. The, now, since the algorithm you have written in program that will calculate the average, and at last one print statement was there, that is average of best 2. Uh, since we have put in the variable, the value which is stored in that variable is getting printed here. So make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notification so you never miss a new video. I'm open to your suggestions and feedback so feel free to leave comment below each video.